Jewish institutions on high alert in Copenhagen after attacks. Netanyahu says attacks in Europe will continue and Jews should come to Israel. Family of ISIS hostage says he is not a Mossad spy. And extreme right video uses Nazi motifs to attack the left. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are your headlines for Sunday, February 15th. Danish police shot and killed the man responsible for two deadly attacks in Copenhagen on Saturday. The man police eventually tracked down had shot and killed one person at an event promoting freedom of speech, as well as a Jewish man guarding a bat mitzvah at a synagogue. Five police officers were also wounded in the attacks. Danish police had launched a massive manhunt to capture and kill the man who they suspect was acting alone. Despite the assessment, however, security at local Jewish institutions was on high alert. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reacted on Sunday to the attack in Denmark during his cabinet meeting, reminding European Jews that they are always welcome in Israel. בכל מדינה ומדינה, אבל אנחנו אומרים ליהודים, לאחינו ואחיותינו, ישראל היא הבית שלכם. The Islamic State said on Thursday that it was holding an Israeli Arab who had posed as a foreign fighter in order to spy for the Mossad. The man's family, who says he has been kidnapped, denied the claims that he was working as an Israeli spy. Islamic State's magazine identified the quote Mossad spy as 19-year-old Muhammad Sayed Ismail Musalam. Israeli forces said Musalam, a resident of East Jerusalem, had left Israel on October 24th without the knowledge of his family to join Islamic State. It declined to comment on whether he was an Israeli agent. After his conduct aroused the suspicion of Islamic State commanders, Musalam was quoted as saying that he broke cover by phoning his father in East Jerusalem, leading to his capture. The Samaria Citizens Committee sparked outrage in Israel on Sunday when it released a video attacking the left for receiving funding from allegedly anti-Semitic groups in Europe. The animated clip, entitled The Eternal Jew, was posted to YouTube on Saturday. It portrays a leftist Jew drawn in anti-Semitic character st style with a long nose being prompted to act by his European master, Mr. Sturmer, an apparent reference to the Nazi propaganda newspaper. At the end of the clip, he is hung. The clip proclaims the Europeans may seem different to you, but to them you are exactly the same. The Coalition Against Racism said in response to the campaign that, quote, the use of Nazi motifs is a despicable act that every law-abiding citizen should distance himself, himself from. And that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.